Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Foxy Light. This is my full face routine. So first off, we started with the Clarisol Morning Glow Moisturizer and I also used the e.l.f. primer to keep my makeup on all day. To highlight, we're going to use NYX Concealer in Fair and a small stiffening brush from e.l.f. And we're going to begin the process of highlighting underneath the eye. And y'all, please, please excuse my facial expression throughout the video. It is absolutely horrendous. For my eyebrows, which I forgot to do on camera, sorry about that, I used Maybelline's Define Brow Eyebrow Pencil in the color Medium Brown. And we're just going to brush out the front of those eyebrows so they won't look so choppy. I have never wished on hope, didn't need a telescope to see where I am going. I have never been the one trying hard to And now we're going to use an angled brush and the same NYX concealer to highlight the eyebrows. You're going to take that concealer and place it underneath and above your eyebrow. Now you're going to wipe off the excess, and yes, it's excess concealer off of your angled brush. And you're going to use that brush to drag out the highlights. Now we're going to cover up those eyebrows using CoverGirl's Loose Powder in Honey for 120. And we're going to take a large fluffy brush and just pat that over the eyebrow. Just to tone down the color and the concealer. To contour, we're using Black Radiance liquid foundation in 8413 or rum spice we're going to add the contour to the hollows of the cheek and to the temples we're also going to add it on either side of the bridge of the nose we're going to add some highlight down the center of the nose and we're just going to brush that out. Now we're taking a flat Sephora brush, which is normally used for foundation, and we're going to drag out that contour. Now it's time to add the foundation. We're going to use MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation in NC42. And we're also going to use a Victoria's Secret Tinted Moisturizer, which I can't tell you what the color is. We're going to mix those two together. 
and use a MAC stippling brush, I forgot the number, to add the foundation. We're going to add it first over the contour portion. And then we're going to blend all that in by making large circles. To bring out the highlight, we're going to use Maybelline's Fit Me Powder in porcelain or 110 and we're going to use a large brush of brush and we're going to pat that underneath the eye where we first place the concealer. Then we're going to use Revlon's Nearly Naked Powder in Dark, or 060, to bring out the contour portion of our face. Blend, 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 ladies. Now we're going to use a liquid highlight, which I can't tell you where it came from because it's all scratched up. We're going to place that on our forehead, down the bridge of our nose, and at the highest point of the cheekbone. And this is in preparation for our powder highlight. For the powder highlight, we're using Wet n Wild Fergie powder highlight in rosé champagne glow or A045. We're using an angled brush from Elf. Place that highlight on the forehead, bridge of the nose, and highest point of the cheekbones. Now we're going to use an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner to line the top of the eyelid. Now we're using L'Oreal Luminous Mascara in Black Brown or K200. And we're going to use an eyeliner in the flesh tone color just to line that waterline. And we're going to use MAC, I believe it's Pinch Me blush and a blusher brush of course and place that on the apples of the cheeks and spread it out For our last step, finally, we're using the lip pencil from NYX in brown or 802. And 
And for the actual lip color, we're using NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in cons or cans, however you want to pronounce it. Here's the finished look guys. Thanks so much for watching. This is my very first video so I'm accepting all positive comments and critiques but the negative comments you can keep to yourself. Please like this video and give me suggestions on what you'd like to see next. Bye guys!